So basically, what you're gonna do. Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone, thanks for joining us for this edition of Community Trick Tips. My name is Maya, and today I'm gonna be teaching you one of my recent favorites, burial flips. The two tricks you'll need to know in order to burial flip are kick flips and backside pop shove -its. You don't have to be amazing at either trick, but you should at least be able to do them somewhat consistently. One of the most important things, of course, is foot positioning. So for burial flips, I like to put my front foot similar to a kickflip position, but I have it slightly further back. For a kickflip, I'd have it up here closer to the bolts, but for burial flips, I slide it back about like an inch and a half. And I also tend to keep my foot more off the edge of the board than on it. Uh, so then I can like flick it faster. And for the flicking motion, it's similar again to a kickflip, but where for a kickflip, I would flick more off the corner. For a varial flip, I'm flicking, like I am sliding up, but I'm flicking more off here rather than off the corner. My back foot is similar to an ollie position, except instead of having it fully on the board, I have my toes hanging slightly off. This will help me with the rotation of the backside pop shove it. You might have to experiment a little bit with foot positioning, but this is a good starting point, I think. So just try it out and then see what works best for you. You're gonna wanna keep your shoulders parallel with your board. I prefer to do this trick moving. You can try it stationary, but I personally find it easier if you're rolling, even if it's just slowly. I'm gonna bend my knees and I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna pretend like I'm doing a backside pop shove it. So you would do the motion for a pop shove it, but at the same time that you're scooping the board, you're also gonna be flipping off with your front foot to get the board to do the kick flip motion. So you're kicking out and the board's gonna rotate and it's gonna flip and it's gonna go in front of you. So you are gonna need to jump a little bit forward to stay over it. Your varial flips might not always go according to plan. A problem you might encounter is the board landing too far in front of you. Make sure that when you flick, you aren't kicking the board out away from you. Another problem you might run into is under rotation. If your board under rotates on the kickflip, try flicking a little harder. If your board under rotates on the pop shove it, try hanging your toes off a little more with your back foot and make sure you pop before you flick. Now it's time to go out and try some varial flips. As with any trick, they might take a while to master, but keep at it and you'll get there eventually. If you have any specific questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for tuning in and good luck with your varial flips.